Hello my lovely patrons and welcome to this first tutorial video in the series of how to fix your knits. This tutorial video will be all about unknitting, also known as tinking, which is knit spelled backwards, genius, uh, or just to knit back. Um, if you want to fix a mistake you made in the same row, uh, for example, if your stitch count doesn't add up, I will show you how to unknit knits, pearls, slip slip knits, uh, knit two together, knit front back, make, make one left, make one right, right yarn overs, uh, cast off stitches. I'll show you how to unknit all of those in this tutorial video. If you're missing any stitches that you would like to see how to undo, please just comment below and I will um, see if I can make a separate tutorial video on that. So without further ado, let's get unknitting. Now we're going to start with something simple, the knit stitch, the most used stitch in knitting. And I've prepared this stockinette swatch to be able to show you. And we're going to take a closer look at the knit stitch first. In order to knit back, for example, as to fix a mistake that happened a few stitches back, well, we're going to have to undo the stitches to get back to that point. So let's take a look. Uh, the knit stitch is a loop but we can see a right leg and a left leg and if we check the stitches that are still on the needles we can see that the right leg is in front of the needle and the left leg is on the back side of the needle so in order to undo this stitch and not twist it we need to get that right leg on the front of our left needle. So I'm gonna show you. We're gonna insert our needle behind the right leg right here. Slip the stitch above that off the right needle and pull. And now the stitch below is on our left needle. We have just unknit one knit stitch. I'm going to show you a couple more times. So we insert the needle behind the right leg here, slip the stitch above off the right needle and pull the yarn. And that is how you unknit a knit stitch. See? very easy. So I'm going to show you what happens if you insert your needle behind the left leg. So I'm going to do that with three consecutive stitches. So by doing this you put your stitches back on the left needle but they are twisted. See? The right leg is behind the needle. If you look at them not really close, they look the same. So it's easy to mistake them for a regular knit stitch. But if you were to knit them again, actually it is a little bit tighter, so I think you would be able to notice. But I'm going to show you anyway. See how those stitches are twisted now? So that's what we want to avoid because um, if you have a couple of twisted stitches in a whole project that is just knit through the right loop, then it will look very sloppy. Um, yeah, so we're going to undo that. All right. So now to undo the twisted stitches, I'm just going to pick them up through the right loop put them back on the left needle. Okay, if 
you are in a hurry to fix the mistake or you know you don't particularly like uh, picking up the stitches one by one there's a trick that lets you unknit uh, stitches faster so we know we have to insert our needle in the right leg and what we can do to make it faster is to just insert your needle through a couple of right legs first. You won't be able to do very much because the needle, uh, it gets kind of, you know, kind of cramped as you can see. But now we've done five. I'm gonna slip my right needle out of those stitches. Be very careful not to slip too many stitches off. And then just pull the thread, ta-da! And now we have unknit five stitches in one go. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you one more thing about the knit stitch, and that is um, if a knit stitch is on top of a purl stitch, it kind of looks different. So I'm gonna undo some stitches below. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you what it would look like on a purl stitch. So I'm just going to pretend as if these are purl stitches. Well, I'm not going to pretend. I'm going to change them into purl stitches. Okay, one more. Oh, that's kind of tight. Mm, sorry, I was out of out of the screen. All uh, right, so I have three purl stitches. My yarn is here, so I need to put those purl stitches back on the left needle. Now I'm just gonna knit over those purl stitches so I can show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna do one on the knit stitch for good measure. So we have three purl stitches here. And what you can see is that when you have knits on knits, just like here, the knit stitch is, m is more visible. Um, whereas if you've just done a purl stitch, you can barely see the knit stitch on top of here because the purl stitch um, it just kind of creates I don't know it just makes the purl makes a knit stitch go backwards a little bit so it's more difficult to see so we're going to undo this regular knit stitch first now we have the purl stitches which is done in exactly the same way. It's just that you have to pull it downwards a little bit to be able to see the legs, right? So, um, so we're gonna go behind the right leg and actually you can just insert your needle in there and come out through the other side and that will do it just as well. Just if you're if you want to unknit multiple stitches at once, you need to come back up to, in order to skip that next left leg, because otherwise you will, you know, you will slide stitches off the needle without catching them. Um, so you can just insert your needle in the stitch and slide it off. And that's how you unknit a knit stitch on top of a purl stitch. So now I'm gonna purl a couple of stitches to show you how to undo those. It's pretty much the same. We have our purl stitches right here. And what you need to know about purl stitches is, you know, they have this ridge on top. And that is basically the top of the loop turned forwards. 
and under that ridge you can see the left and right leg. So just as with the knit stitch we're simply going to insert our left needle behind that right leg and slip the stitch on top of that off the needle. So I'm going to show you again. Insert into the stitch, slide the stitch off, pull the yarn through. So you can either insert directly into the stitch or go behind the right leg. And going behind the right leg, as I just said, will allow you to unknit multiple stitches at once. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to slide those off. One, two, three, four. Pulling the yarn out. And now we have un, well, actually unpearled, right? So we've unknit the pearls. Okay, now I've left these pearl stitches here. So I'm going to show you how pearl on pearl looks like. Just two more pearl stitches. Yes, and now we're there. So, okay, take a minute to see what this looks like. You see that the pearl ridges are not really spaced apart but if you do pull them apart a little bit there they are the right uh, the left and right leg see so you pull them apart and then you can see where to put your needle so pulling them apart inserting my needle and pulling the stitch off one more time Inserting the needle, slipping the right needle out, and pulling the yarn. And of course you can also do that behind the, the right leg as we did before, like that. And there you go. And same as with the uh, knit stitch, you don't want to be picking up the left leg as you will be twisting your stitches and it will just um, it will not look nice it will be tighter um, it will mess with your gauge so um, yeah better better to just pick up that right leg um, yeah so that's pearl stitches now we're going to do something a little bit more advanced I'm just gonna knit ahead a couple of stitches and now we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to do a knit two together. And I'm just going to knit one and do another knit two together. Let's see what that looks like. So we have two knit two togethers in this row. This one you can see that there are two knit stitches overlapping and there is one knit stitch coming out of those two and you can really see the, le the left and right legs here so all we need to do is pick up both of those right legs in order to unknit so here is the first one and there is the second one. So I'm going to put both of those on my left needle, slide the right needle out, and pull the yarn. And I've just put the two knit stitches back on my left needle. So this is a regular knit stitch. Just like that. There's another knit two together right here. So we're just going to pick up the right legs because otherwise let me show you if I just pick up this one and I pull the right needle out 
then this stitch will be loose and it will unravel if I pull on the yarn. So you really want to pick up both of those right legs. So you can you can do it one by one, but it's easy to just pick pick up both of them. And there you go. That's a knit two together. We're also gonna do a slip slip knit, another decrease. So a uh, slip slip knit involves twisting stitches. So slip slip so now they are twisted their left leg is forward and knit so knit together okay so now what the left leg is to the front here and the right leg is to the back and what happens if we just pick up the right leg those stitches will be twisted on our needle See that? That's not what we want. Um, actually unsure on how to... No, that's, <laughs> that's not how you recreate it. Okay. Let's see. So slip, slip, knit. All right. So what we want to do is pick up the left legs See, now they are untangled and then just switch them back with the right leg forward. It's just you have to undo the previous stitch step by step. So for the slip slip knit we first twisted them and then knit them together. So if you want to unknit them you can't do the untwisting first. Know what I mean? You have to do the knitting together. You have to undo that first. And after that, you can undo the twisting. You see? Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, if not, just leave a comment below. So now we're gonna see if we can undo a knit front back, a increase. Um, I'm gonna knit a couple of stitches back because those loops were very stretched out. Um, okay, we're gonna do knit from back. So knit, that's front, and knit into the back loop or back leg. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, and unknitting increases is very simple. You see, it looks really complicated because there are two stitches coming out of this one loop. But really, all you need to do is treat this as another knit stitch. Just go in, pick up the right leg, and then slip both stitches off. See? Okay, I'm gonna show you again. So here's another one. See, the knit front back. The second stitch of that increase has a little bump there. Um, so knit front back. I'm gonna pick up the stitch right underneath. Pick that right leg. Slide those stitches off the needle. Has a little bow tie here. Just undo that. And there you go. Okay, some other increases now. Uh, how about a make one left? So make one left is a left leaning increase that you do by picking up the bar between stitches and then knitting it through the back loop. Okay, now this is really, really simple. I'm just gonna knit one stitch after that. Uh, and I'm also going to do a knit one, uh, a make one right, because, you know, it's basically the same technique to undo them. Okay. Now, see how this make one right has no stitch 
underneath it. So we're just gonna drop it off the needle. And that's it. That's really just it. This is a knit stitch, so we're picking up the stitch below that. But here, our make one left is also, you know, it's, it's a stitch made out of the bar between stitches, so it's not made of a stitch. So dropping it will not result in any ladders. So, you know, that's the beauty of make one left and make one right. You can just drop them. Just make sure that if you're re-knitting it that you don't forget to make those again. All right, we've done a couple of increases now. Let's take a look at the easiest increase that you can make, the yarn over. So the yarn goes over the right needle and we knit the next stitch. Gonna do that again. That's what a yarn over looks like. It's kind of slanted on the needle. And to um, undo it is just as easy as the make one left and make one right. Uh, we have to undo the knit stitches, but then the yarn over, you just slip right off the needle. So we undo the knit stitch and the yarn over we pull right off the needle and that's it. Um, so those are the increases. Now I'm going to show you how to undo a cast off. So I'm going to cast off a couple of stitches. Um, maybe you're knitting in the round uh, or flat, doesn't matter, and uh, you're undoing, uh, you're casting off a couple of stitches for the neckline or for the sleeves. And let's say we cast off the uh, wrong number of stitches or, you know, uh, so you want to undo the cast off. It doesn't happen very often, but, you know, it's, it's still a valuable uh, technique to learn. I'm gonna undo these knit stitches here first. And now we come to the very first cast off stitch. And you can see that, um, like with the decreases, it's two stitches on top of each other. Um, but you can see that the left legs are, um, are to the front. So that means we have to undo the knitting together first. Um, and then we can uh, fix the twisting of the stitches. So I'm gonna put um, the left legs on the left needle and this one I'm just gonna slip back onto the right needle because I need that to undo those stitches and this one I'm gonna twist so that the right leg is forward. I'm gonna do that again so I'm gonna uh, pick up the two left legs, slide the right needle out, pull the yarn, slide this one back into the needle, and twist this stitch so that the right leg is to the front again. And that is basically how you do that. Twist this one forward again. And here comes the last one. Twisting this one. And there we are. We just undid the cast off. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please just comment below and I will answer your questions and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.